you can see that moisture really starting to pump in. This warm front is act, going to really act as a trigger. That in combination with a little bit of shear in the atmosphere means the potential of supercells to develop. So rotating storms are a possibility the later in the evening we had. We have this area of low pressure. We're really outlining here that area that could see some of the strongest storms. You see most of the activity through tonight into early tomorrow is going to fall north of the warm front as it's going to be slowly lifting to the north. You see this area outlined in the orange as well as the red. That's our best chance of strong to severe storms where you see some of the red like Tulsa close to Oklahoma City, Fort Smith, Little Rock. I think that's where we see more numerous storms. But even in that orange, we could see quite a few storms that go severe. It means damaging winds likely some hail as well as a, maybe a few isolated tornadoes. Here's a look where we're outlining this. This is showing the likelihood of development of supercells along I-44 into Oklahoma and then off to the east. That's where we could see some of the strongest storms also along I-40 through the northwestern half of Arkansas. You look at the future track, you'll start to see where initial development has really already begun through about 7 o'clock. We see it right along I-44. That's as you enter into southwestern Missouri. But watch this as I go later into the night storms really start to flourish, especially after sunset tonight. You can see around 11 o'clock. Some of these isolated storms you see here, those may be menacing. That means they may have rotation. You see off to the east going to be more of a line that still produces a strong threat for damaging winds. But we're really concerned about some of these isolated cells as we head into tonight. I'm Amy Freeze. Welcome to Fox Weather's YouTube page. We have more great videos on the way, so make sure to subscribe to stay updated on all things weather.